Hello, my name is James Young with Bloodroot Outdoors and I'm going to do a product review of the Savage 350 Legend. This version is the Axis 2, which means it comes with the AccuTrigger. Um, like I said, it's, it's chambered in a 350 Legend. For those of you that don't know what a 350 Legend is, um, it's a pistol caliber rifle. Um, and that's important in the state of Ohio because Ohio doesn't allow rifle cartridges for deer hunting. So in the state of Ohio, you can, you can gun hunt deer with a slug gun, a muzzle loader, or recently with a pistol caliber or straight walled cartridge rifle. And that's what the 350 Legend is. And so 350 Legend is actually a newer caliber, and I believe it was designed for specifically for states like Ohio that allow deer hunting with pistol caliber rifles only. Right, so um, the 350 Legend is a newer, uh, newer caliber that's been developed specifically for these kind of hunting states. So, um, for years and years and years, I used a, a an inline muzzleloader. Uh, I had a I had a slug gun like everybody did back in the 90s. Uh, killed some deer with it. Uh, decided to forego uh, quantity with quality. And so what I mean by that is, you know, my slug gun, I could carry three shells in it, which meant I had three chances to hit the deer, but my accuracy wasn't all that great. Uh, for those of you that remember the old, uh, the old Remington pump slug guns, uh, they were accurate enough, but not, not precise, I would say. So uh, I switched over to the muzzle loader, which I could get uh, some really good accuracy with some power belt bullets. Um, got a little more distance out of it, felt a little more comfortable with it, and I put down a lot of deer with that, with that muzzleloader. Um, not uh, too long ago, uh, I had an opportunity to, at, a, at a buck, uh, had my one-shot muzzleloader, shot it, blew the shoulder out of it, uh, tried to reload as quick as I could, um, but before I could get my muzzleloader loaded, capped, and back up on my shoulder, uh, the deer had stumbled off and I didn't get that second round in. So uh, it was at that point I thought, you know what, um, as accurate and as deadly as that muzzleloader was, uh, you always have to account for human error. And so I would love to say that I'm 100% accurate. Uh, it's just not true. And I think most hunters will agree that uh, every once in a while you just, you just don't put it where you want. So it'd be nice to have a follow-up round. And so with the Savage that I have, it's got a four round magazine, which means uh, with a quick cycle of the bolt, I can get another round chamber uh, and, and get that second follow-up shot if I need to. I definitely don't, don't like losing deer, uh, and I'm hoping that this will, will remedy that if I do get a bad hit. So, <clears throat> uh, like I was saying, it's the Axis 2 model, comes with the AccuTrigger, now I've got a, a 30-06, a Savage 30-06 with the AccuTrigger, and I really like it. Uh, so, so I am very, very happy with the AccuTrigger. Um, this is a 22-inch barrel. You'll see some of the models uh, or other makers, they'll uh, have 18-inch and 20-inch uh, length on the barrels. I wanted a longer barrel. Now, this is a heavy barrel, which means it's a little more heavy. And it's not quite, I can tell you now, it's not quite as uh, balanced as you might like it. It's got a composite stock or plastic stock, so a lot of the weight is up front. Uh, I noticed that right off, but, um, you know, it's a hunting gun. I'm not going to be pumping a lot of rounds through it, so um, really I just want something that's going to be accurate, hopefully out to 200 yards. Uh, and something that can offer me a follow-up shot if I need to. So, uh, this particular gun I got on sale at a local gun shop. Uh, it was $3.99 plus tax. It actually came with the Bushnell scope already attached to it. Now this is a little more scope than probably I need. It's a 4x12 Bushnell. Uh, but, you know, hey, it come with the gun, so, so I'm not going to complain. So, uh, let's take it outside. I'm gonna, uh, I got two types of rounds that I bought. I got the Hornady and then I got the Winchester uh, brand of rounds. I'm going to try each one of those and just to see if one shoots a little better and one cycles a little better than the gun. So um, let's give it a try.
All right. So I want to start with the I want to start with the Hornady first. Um, we're at 60 yards right now. My sight or my target. Uh, first time shooting it. So let's see how it goes. Wondering, that's what a 350 legend bullet looks like. Uh, really, all only difference is a straight walled, and for some reason in the state of Ohio that means something. But um, straight walled cartridge, totally legal to hunt with during the Ohio gun season, deer gun season. So let's give it a shot. Alright, so it's it's definitely not bore sighted. Uh, 40 yards, I didn't even hit the target. So, I'm going to have to do a lot of work on this thing. i got a wider target out there now. Um, let's see if I can hit the page at least. So let me show you. The first round I got on the page was down here. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And then we started getting onto the center here. So I got it a little bit high at 40 yards, which is probably about right. Um, shooting about center. Uh, but man, I had to walk those sights. I mean, I bet you I put over 100 clicks on those sites just to get them get them right so uh, definitely definitely comes out of the factory at least mine did came out of the factory not even close i mean i was must have been hitting grass i don't know but i think i got her going now so let's let's stretch it out All right, so we took it out. Uh, I was hoping this thing was somewhat accurate from the box. I was hoping maybe the, the manufacturer, the, the gun store I bought it from, maybe bore sighted this thing since they mounted the scope. Uh, couldn't have been more wrong. Uh, it took me a lot of ammo to get it onto the page, and then it took me a lot of ammo to get it centered up. So. Um, I bet you I put over a hundred clicks on this scope just to get it get it accurate. I did get it onto the page eventually, um, and then from that point we were off and running. Uh, we started out at 60, couldn't hit the page, went to 40, uh, finally hit the page. I walked it up, uh, got it hitting on the X. Now, as I said before, I was a muzzleloader hunter, so my thought process being a muzzleloader hunter is that if I'm shooting two inches high at about 50 yards or 100 or yeah 50 yards that well at 100 yards I would be dead accurate right uh, not so much true with the 350 legend uh, when I read the box the ammunition for the Hornady had a it was basically shooting flat at 200 yards which meant at 100 yards it was shooting about four inches high uh, which was a little counter counterintuitive uh, for a muzzleloader hunter. So I got this thing sighted in around 40, 60 yards, uh, shooting a little high. I thought, well, good. That that means I'll be I'll be hitting right on at 100. 
Uh, no. <laughs> no. So I got this thing shooting uh, pretty much right on at 100, uh, or excuse me, a little bit high at 100, uh, which means I should be right on at 200. So um, read that read that trajectory chart on the on the on the box, and it'll help cite you in. All right, so let's talk about the pros of the Savage. Uh, pretty accurate. I mean, if you if you look at the video, I'm basically shooting off of a uh, a bar stool in a in a lawn chair, uh, <laughs> and so taking the human element out of it, uh, it was shooting pretty accurate at, at 100, 100 plus yards. Um, I was keeping it within a three inch X, uh, which, you know, for me is pretty good. I, I you know, I, I would love to get this thing into a lead sled, really get it nailed down, get it uh, shooting right where I want it. But uh, for, you know, putting 20 or 30 rounds through it, uh, uh, I got it, got it shooting pretty good, pretty accurate at a hundred yards, which in the state of Ohio, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good with that. Uh, the other thing I liked, the Accu Trigger. Uh, I mentioned it before. I got another gun that has the Accu Trigger, and I like it. Man, I tell you what, the the Accu Trigger with the 350 Legend round is smooth. It is really, really smooth. Um, the 350 doesn't have a huge uh, kick to it, so it doesn't beat your shoulder up. Uh, the Accu Trigger, you just pull into that trigger, and it just it floats the bullet out of the gun. Uh, it's really, uh, it's almost pleasurable to shoot. Uh, you know, I, I do some turkey hunting and I, I hunt some three inch or three and a half inch loads out of my turkey gun. And it is miserable to shoot that thing. I mean, it just beats your shoulder or shoulder up. So uh, shooting a gun like this, uh, really enjoyable, uh, really pretty accurate, smooth trigger pull. The negatives, cycling. Uh, I got I got quite a few jams out of this gun, uh, more than I should have. Uh, I mentioned before that I got two different types of rounds. Um, it seemed to me that they both jammed. Uh, I didn't notice one working better than the other. I got to tell you, uh, I was a little disappointed in how this thing cycled. I mean, I, you know, it was... Trying to be smooth, I wasn't too slow, wasn't too fast. Uh, I was getting stove piping, uh, getting them hung up on the on the edges of the barrel. Um, it just did not cycle the way I wanted to, which is kind of problematic. So, uh, you know, for deer season, you don't you don't want to put a round in a deer, go to put in a follow up round, and then have to fight a jam. I mean that's the exact opposite of what I wanted out of this gun. So uh, that was a little a little disappointing. Now I'm going to clean this thing up, uh, maybe try a different brand of shells, go through it all over again and see if I can figure out why this thing's jamming up. I mean straight out of the box. Uh, maybe it's something I can I can remedy. Um, but overall it's not a it's not a bad gun for $399 with a scope. Uh, it's it's not a terrible gun. It's you know camoed out, got a nice trigger pull, got uh, got some pretty good accuracy. Uh, the only the only negative that I really had on this gun was the cycling, which you know um, seems to be pretty problematic for this gun. So overall, I, I, I would recommend this gun uh, if you're looking for something that's low cost, uh, fairly accurate, um, got a smooth trigger pull, uh, and got some distance to it. I mean, I don't think I would I don't think I would worry too much about getting 200 yards on this gun. Now I haven't tried it on a deer yet, so I don't know exactly how the knockdown power is going to be, but I can tell you at 100 and 100 plus yards. Um, I was keeping this thing pretty tight, so I think on a deer it would it would do what it needs to do. So um, that's my opinion on it. You guys can can buy it, try it out, uh, maybe talk to other people, see if they had the same issues as far as the cycling. Um, you know, like I said, if you can if you can find a gun that this or a round that this gun likes to likes to feed off of, then then this would be a perfect gun. I mean, absolutely perfect. So give it a try. Let me know what you think.